Welcome back to Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Tuesday, September 17th, 2019. Let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Everyone has that friend who they hate going to the gym with because for them, every day is leg day. And I get the feeling that soon to be rookie star Mo Foda is probably one of those guys. Last week, someone from Mo's team managed to snag a video of him crushing a few sets of heavy squats, which seems like it's just been par for the course for him so far this season. Mo's a really intriguing prospect in a lot of ways, but the fact that he has such a crazy level of density and maturity at 24 years old is the thing that makes him really special. He's a guy bodybuilding fans should have on their radar because he has a real chance to make an impact next season. I know it's a thing now on social media for everyone to want to call themselves a boss. But trust me when I tell you that 9 times out of 10 most people are willing to pay what it costs to succeed at that level. Because who knows, maybe Zach Merkel is one of those rare breeds. A few days ago, the 2019 USA overall champ gave his fans an inside look at how phase one of his off-season plans has been treating him. According to Zach, he's sitting somewhere in the neighborhood of 290 pounds, which means that he's close to 30 pounds over his stage weight already, if my math is correct. Based on what we can see in the pictures, he hasn't gotten too far off the mark with his conditioning either. So hopefully he keeps the mojo rolling for the next few months, because I'd love to see what he's capable of with a little more seasoning under his belt. I know the air is supposed to be thinner up there in Denver with it being the mile high city and all, but somebody needs to look into whether or not that whole high altitude thing is making the weights lighter too. Because Brett Wilkins has been crushing it out there lately. A few days ago we saw someone inside the Wilkins camp post a video of the rookie standout killing a set of heavy hack squats in his latest installment of his off season program, which I'm being told is going well according to a few people close to the source. A few weeks ago I caught wind of a rumor that he and his team were tossing around the idea of moving up from the 212 class into the open, which would put him right in the crosshairs of some of those other monsters they have lurking around there in the mile high mecca. But as long as he can grow into his class without sacrificing too many of his lines, I say he might as well go ahead and take the leap. I know it feels like we're beating a dead horse sometimes when we tell people it's conditioning that wins shows in bodybuilding, but the facts are just the facts guys. And if you're one of those people who still wants to argue that point with me, all I have to say is go take a look at Robert the Muscle Unit Taylor. A few weeks ago the four time British champ managed to win his pro card at the British Nationals where he was easily the most conditioned athlete in the entire show. He killed it in the conditioning department. And if I'm being honest, I think he could crack the top 5 in a pro show this year if he steps on stage with that exact same look he had at the Brits. Some people will do whatever it takes to win and Robert Taylor is one of them. And since he's already in shape, it wouldn't shock me if we find out that his 2019 campaign still has one more round left in the chamber. When you're younger, older people love to tell you about how variety is the spice of life. And from the way it sounds, Charles Curtis is about to add a little bit of variety into his bodybuilding life a few months from now. Recently we caught wind of a rumor that Curtis was planning to make the switch from classic to the 212 division at some point here later in the season, where I'm guessing he'll be trying to snag one of the early 2020 Olympia qualification spots that'll be up for grabs. In the past we've seen Curtis put together a handful of pretty solid performances. So if he gets back to that same level of conditioning, he should have a chance to make some serious noise. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.